Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we are away to Cadiz in the Copa del Rey and quite a few changes. I'm not going to go through them all, but as you can see, Fernandinho, who is a new regen that we've signed up, he's only 16 years old, he is going to make it onto the bench. He may get some game time, we'll have to wait and see. Playing at the beautiful Camp Nou Stadium. I've said it before, I'm not quite sure why, but all the Copa del Rey games are played in neutral grounds in this game. But uh, yeah, let's jump in. See how we get on. Lots of ups today from our players. Ruben Castro up top. Carlos Perez taking the captaincy armband in place of uh, Vieira, who was on a downward wear, so he can't play. It's a poor pass from Kusan there. We are in the middle of trying to renegotiate some contracts for just several players, just to see if we can extend them a bit longer. Maybe get some money back as well. Martinelli, oh. we can maybe lower a couple of those salaries down. Not sure we can, but... Oh, really nice effort there. Should have scored, I think. We've had a few games recently where I've been glancing those headers wide every single time, so I must be doing something slightly wrong. Nice play by Perez. There's a lot of yellow shirts around, though. Oh, Emerson hesitated, and that's cost him. Throws in here, good save, just couldn't quite get it from underneath his feet. Maybe he could have took another touch. Oof. Nearly got on the end of that one again. Herrera, Ooh, well over, well struck, well over. And transfer fun wise, we've only got around about 10 million, so we can't really go out and sign any actual players as such. Um, we're really just looking at the youth squad at the moment. Trying to raise some funds as well. We'll have to wait and see. It's Castro. Good tackle just as he was about to take the shot there. best way to raise funds really unfortunately is just bring them through youth players and either loaning them out because you get a, a relatively small fee not sure what happened there or obviously selling them if it's a if it's a youth player you really don't want to keep there's no harm in bringing a few through just to sell oh martinelli could have been in there it's a bit scrappy can't seem to get those passes through at the moment. Good tackle by Kusans there. Zakov played today. He scored a stunner in the last game. And he's done two this season. Nice play back. On a great finish from Martinelli. Zirkov did a lot of the work, but it was a fantastic strike from Martinelli. It's a little bit behind him, still from the bottom corner. One area I am looking at to sell is that left back position. Texera maybe not needed now. 
We've got Backer, who's our number one choice, and Zirkov really has impressed me this season. And we don't need three in that position. So whether it's he goes out on loan, make a little bit of money, and then bring him back at a later date and see if we want to keep him, or if we can just sell him out right, I'm not sure. Nice play there. McNally, oh, is he just offside? Well, well, it was clearly offside. It wasn't uh, that close. Well, that was a poor ball, but it somehow found its way through. Castro now. And Castro could be in. <laughs> and he is, and it's 2-0. I just knew it was going in. Martin only plays in Castro. Kang and Lee back to him. And power in. Castro very rarely misses in those situations. Such a great player. Don't know what rating he's going to end up, you know, in the future. Because remember, he's still very young. He's a regen. I suppose it depends on how long we play this game as well. Got no plans on stopping anytime soon. was in there but just wasn't enough space here he is again though oh good save managed to curl it around the defender and they've given the ball away cheaply there Lee Kang in Martinelli Castro oh good block just overrun it slightly Maybe one pass too many. Can we get one more attack? Ooh. <laughs> That'll be half time. They got away with there, but 2 0 at the break. And stats wise, at half time, we had 59% possession. Can't remember how many shots we had on goal, but they had zero. Clearly a very dominant display. Oh, nearly a nice pass, but Monalique's in anyway, and it's three. Mistake from the defender. Monalique punishes them. Yeah, Kang and Lee again. Plays in Martinelli. Sorry, no, he doesn't. He plays in Castro, who plays in Martinelli. Defender gets it, but just somehow loses it. Straight away, see here the pass is just slightly ahead of him. Oh, it's a poor touch, isn't it? But Martinelli was there waiting, very aware, reacted very quickly. That should be the game very much safe now. Question now is, well there's two questions, will we keep a clean sheet, which I, I do like to do. And how many will we score? Got a bit unlucky there. I think I will bring on Fernandinho as one of the subs. Just to give, because he is brand new. I want to give him a try out there. Good tackle by Zirkov. So impressive. Maybe just overplayed it a bit. Some nice passing, but maybe one too many. But he went in again. Kangalee's got to be scoring more of those. 
gets in so many good positions. Here is again. Oh, and he's missed it. Oh, my word. There's something about Kang and Lee just never seems to hit the target. Or if he does, it's straight at the keeper. He's got to be scoring more. I really like him as a player, though. That's the thing. He keeps missing. It's quite having the odd off game, but it's all the time now. to make some subs soon. Maybe one last attack before we do. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, that's poor. Keep giving the ball away. Right, play this quickly because there's a little bit of space here. Get a bit fortunate there. Oh, Emerson's uh, free here. Straight the keeper. Right, we'll make some subs now. So Emerson just picked up a yellow card. We're going to put on Debushi for him. We're going to bring on Mudrick for Kang and Lee in that attack midfield role. And like I say, Fernandinho coming in place of Ferreira. And we've switched him to defensive mid. I mean, it's weird calling Fernandinho a youngster. Or like Zirkov and people like that. But uh, yeah, youngster gets some game time the regen. Some of the passing's been sloppy in this second half. Nice throw and a nice... Ah, oh, Mudrick, man. Nicely shielded out, though. Up with a bit of space here. We'll try to lob him. <laughs> Probably wasn't the right decision to do that, but oh, that's got to be a foul. Taking all of the player. Well, wait from Fernandinho doing his job. And that's exactly what we need from him. It's a terrible pass again. Can't get the ball there. And Schubert did well. He came out and closed the angle. Bad defending. Really you're not impressed with that. Castro in on goal. Can't find the angle to get a shot away. And Woodrick. Martinelli. Oh, just overplayed, but wins it back. Again, a poor pass. Well, I thought we'd have scored more. After we've got that third, I was thinking four, five, six. We may have one more chance, but um, it's not been the best of second halves. Here's Martinelli, though. And it is four. It's more like it. So 
some really nice passing. Castro with the uh, assist there. Nicely slotted away. It's more like it. Still think it's been a little bit of a poor showing in the uh, second half. Got the job done though. And we're through to the next round of the Copa del Rey. Martinelli getting in 8.5. I actually didn't realise that that was for his hat trick, that third goal there. Yeah, some good wings, but at second half, Costanu getting a 5. I agree with that. There's some sloppy defending. I thought Zirkov played well, to be honest. Subs, I thought Fernandinho did pretty well when he came in. He made a couple of good tackles, some nice passing. So probably deserved more than the 5, but he only had about 19 minutes to play. So, yeah, anyway, we're through to the next stages of the Copa del Rey. That's it for today, guys. I've just had a quick look and we're playing Atletico Madrid in the next stages of the Copa del Rey. So that's a big, big match. Got a few matches in the league in a row now. We're still nine points ahead. Can we push that any further? Keep that winning streak going. I've just signed a couple of youngsters, which I may show you in the future. Mainly not to play. I are just trying to see if we can sell some to make some money or maybe loan them out to get a little bit of money. And then when they come back, we'll decide whether we want to keep them or not. But anyway, I'll keep you up to date with any transfers, incomings, outgoings in the next video. Please join us for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.